Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to make your first program in C++. One thing you're going to need is a IDE, and what I'm using is Microsoft Visual C++ Express Edition. Now, this is free, so all you have to do is type in Microsoft Visual C++ Express into your Yahoo or Google search bar, and it should be this very first one. After clicking on that, you will see up here it says get it for free download. Click that. Then go down here to Visual C Express Edition and select your language. Obviously, I'm English, so I'm going to select some English. And my computer blocked the file, so click download file. And come down here again and do this again. And now you see it pops up. VC setup.exe. Now you can save this or run this and since I already have this installed I'm gonna skip this. So just follow all the on screen instructions and it should be pretty self explanatory. Now first thing you want to do is open Microsoft Visual C Express Edition. And then you want to go to File, New, Project. And I'm just going to make an empty project and I'm going to call it Hello World. Now, if you type in your name, click OK. And as you see, it created our project. Now, you can add other stuff in here later on, but I won't go into that. So, just go to Source Files add new item then add a C++ file and I'm gonna you can call this whatever you want but I'm just gonna name it main so after that click add now you will see this is our source file this is where we input all of our code to make the program run so what I'm gonna start off with is include IO stream and basically what you need to know about this is it, it is needed to use C out and C in statements and IO stream stands for input output stream so along with that we're going to use using namespace std Oops. It's a semicolon. And then we're going to start our main function, which the code for that is int, <coughs> excuse me, main, and then in parentheses type void. Alright, now you can add other functions later on, but again, I won't go into that right now. So you put your curly brace. And this is the start of the function. And so you want to type C out and put your insertion operator there. And then put in uh, quotes hello world. End quote. And another stream is insertion operator and type end L. And I'm going to add another indel. What indel does is it basically just goes to the next line. And as you can see, I double spaced this one. So uh, this semicolon right here is needed to terminate this line. Most every line you're going to need to terminate, but there are some that you don't. So uh, now after this, I'm going to put a system pause. In here. And what system pause does is, oops, I forgot my end quote. What system pause does is it pauses the command prompt when you load it. And this is needed or it'll close like instantly and you'll get really mad at your computer. Like I do. So, after this, I'm going to type return zero. And put a semicolon there too. 
Okay. After that, in the curly bracket. And now, to run this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Debug, Start Without Debugging. And as you can see, here we have our first program. Right here is what I meant by the indels. This first indel would just put this press any key to continue right in this space here. Now since I added two, it double spaced it. And so you'll use that a lot. There's also another way you can do it if you have another line in here. And I'll show you that in another tutorial. But so that's it for this. Now I'm going to click build and build solution. And you don't have to do this, but this is just if you want to send the, your program as you just made to a friend or somebody else. And so you go to my documents, which is where the default is for Visual Studio 2005 project files and stuff. And you want to double click on that, go to projects. And then since I named my project Hello World, it already automatically created a folder for it. And so you want to double click on that folder and then double click on debug and then here you have your program. You can just send this to your friends and it'll run. So just double click on it and as you can see it comes up. So I think that's about it for this tutorial. So uh, I'll have more tutorials to come. So keep a lookout, and most importantly, have fun. So, oh, and also I have a, uh, I have a uh, website I'm working on, so just keep tuned for that. And then I think that's it. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and have fun. Bye.